and it's the middle of June, and I completely forgot about this. I totally lapsed on this, but Easter was a couple months ago. <laughs> Just a couple. <laughs> and I actually, uh, more than a couple months ago, prior to Easter, I bought some, some, some random tat from Walmart that I was going to do like a quick little Easter special for. And I put it in the prop closet, and I uh, immediately forgot about it, um, because uh, I just, I have, like, I, I don't have object permanence, alright? If I'm not looking directly at something, it might as well not exist anymore. I just, I completely forgot that it existed, until one day I opened it up and I was like, Oh shit, I forgot, I, I had all these things that I bought, and, uh... Yeah. So, anyways, I got three things. It, they're all they're all edibles. They're all edibles. <laughs> they're not gonna get you high, but they'll make they'll certainly make you feel awful. Um, I've got three. I've got three things that I picked up, and they're they're from the whoop, they're from the candy aisle at, at, at Walmart. They're meant to be things you put in an Easter basket for kids. So let's start. Let's let's set the bar. Let's just set the bar at is at at like the average level. I got. A Kinder Joy. Now we've opened up plenty of these before. You guys know all about Kinder Joy. I've told you the the stories of, of why you can't sell Kinder eggs in the United States. For those of you uh, that are that are new to GatorBox, either watching the stream for the first time, uh, or uh, you're watching this on YouTube and you haven't heard the explanation, it's because you can't put an inedible object completely encased inside of something that is edible, i.e. chocolate. Uh, too many kids ate the prizes that were inside of uh, Nestle Wonder Balls, and I guess they died. Yeah, Flux, that's called natural selection. When you, when you just, when you let the kids swallow the army man. So, I've got, I've got a Kinder Joy here, and this is, this is the Kinder Company's workaround. Essentially, what you've got is an egg that you peel apart if this will come apart there we go there we go and then in this half you get some some cake icing esque chocolate with a couple of like uh, little little mini crunchy cocoa puffs in there and then in here well this is the little spoon the, the default Twitter avatar that you use to eat that with and then in here is the toy let's let's sample the goods Let's sample the, the, it's like hazelnut chocolate or, oh my god, I just broke the plastic off. Does this even open? I picked like the worst one, the one that doesn't even open. There we go. Got a couple of salty chocolate balls in there. Always got a, I'm, I'm never not going to reference that. I, I guess, you know, we just, you just, you scoop it out. This is, this is getting to be old hat. You guys are probably tired of seeing this, but... There are those of you that that are that, that are purists. They're like, if you open up a Kinder, you have to take a bite out of the chocolate. Otherwise, it's not a proper Kinder unboxing. <laughs> Bugs Bunny shit. <laughs> I mean, this tastes fine. I like this. It's not bad. You get kind of like the creamier white chocolate on top, and then you get kind of a dark hazelnut chocolate on the bottom. It's it's fine. It's weird that it's like probably got some it's probably got some weird emulsifier in it that makes it not solid and it's probably bad for you. And for the toy, let's take a look. Oh, that looks like a four-leaf clover of some sort. Okay. What do we got? It is uh what is it? So it's it's two. Four. Do they? Oh, so it's like a little thing. It's it, this. It's this. It's a little ornament, for what? But you don't you don't hang things on like Easter. There's no Easter tree. That's Christmas. That's the other Christian holiday. You fucking idiots. There we go. It's it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what do the instructions say to do it's something that you can something you can trace 
What? So okay, it is it is we did do we did do it right. We put the two pieces we put the two pieces together. And then here they're like hanging on like a cherry blossom branch or something. I didn't buy a Japanese Kinder Egg. I bought I bought the crappy ones you sell in America because we're too stupid to have regular Kinder Eggs. You mean to tell me? Wait. Do you mean to tell me that we could have got like a like a cute little furry animal character and instead, hang on, that we that we we could have got one of these and in, instead we got what the fox and the rabbit are playing with right there? Oh, hang on. No, there's a llama looking at like a rainbow thing. So I don't know. The chicken is 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 painting. He's painting something over here. So there there could be something equally as as disappointing. I don't know if this is disappointing or what. But this isn't what I mean. I don't know how. I don't know what it means if it's Easter. Is this? This doesn't seem like an Easter thing, because this doesn't look like an Easter scene. This is more like a Christmas ornament. I mean, as a Christmas ornament, it's kind of no. It sucks as a Christmas ornament because it's green. It just it, it would blend in with the tree. You'd have to you'd have to put it like, you'd have to hang it up and then put it like behind one of the Christmas lights so that you'd get. You get like an effect like this, where it's like where it like lights up, or something. That was a disappointment. I guess I'm gonna set that over there. Coming up next, I got something that's completely cursed. Now this is something that's pretty contentious among among candy connoisseurs. Peeps, you either you either love these things or you hate these things. I used to like Peeps when I was younger. But I'm not I'm not too big on the 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 sugar on the outside. It it, it kind of grits against my teeth and I don't like it. But here's why these are cursed peeps. These are Fruit Loops flavored peeps. And Fruit Loops is a cereal that is just bad. Fruit Loops is, it sucks. I've never liked Fruit Loops. I've never been able to figure out if Fruit Loops are supposed to be individual flavors and whatever it is that they put on the yellow ones has overpowered everything else in the bag or if they're all the same flavor and they all just taste like lemon because I've never eaten any color Fruit Loop other that that's tasted anything other than lemon and I hate Fruit Loops it's been it's been like this it's been like this my entire life so it's not just me saying oh you know Cereals that have gotten worse as I've gotten older, and I'm being a crotchety old fucking man about it. No, I have never liked Fruit Loops. That was easy. So they're just peeps on a stick. They've all been impaled. They've all they've all died for our sins. They've all been crucified. Yep, those are peeps, all right. Oh fuck me, they smell exactly like Fruit Loops. Fucking hell. I was thinking maybe like okay, I was thinking there's not look, there's not even a yellow one on the stick. There's a yellow one on the package. There's a yellow one on the package, and they all still smell like fucking lemon. So it's gotta be that Fruit Loops just taste that way. I got a limp dick's worth of peeps right here that I'm gonna eat. No, but no, really, I thought maybe, like, when it said Fruit Loops flavored, I thought it was going to be, like, green apple, blue raspberry, strawberry, and orange, or whatever. Like, maybe the, the, the flavors these are supposed to be in the cereal, but no. They just smell like, they smell like Fruit Loops. So I'm going to just take the green one off, off the end. I heard the bit alarm go off. It's just Rotor Baron. Thank you for the 30 bits. I appreciate it. It's the <laughs> gay for aliens. It's the human centipede, but with peeps. It's the it's the it's the centipede. Have we been canceled yet? The producers say we're done. The show's over. I don't have to eat this. All right, I'm just gonna pop the whole thing in my mouth. Oh fuck off! Oh man. It tastes like the cereal. It tastes like the fucking cereal. 
I mean, it's a marshmallow, but the outer sugar part tastes like the cereal. It tastes like fucking lemon furniture polish. Okay, I'm going to take a bite out of the blue one. And if it doesn't taste any different, then I'm not proceeding further, okay? Because fuck this. Also, oh, look at where the look at where the green one was touching the blue one. We were all it's all it's all it, like some of the green sugar is rubbed off and it's all yellowed against the it just, it does. It just looks like a dirty booty hole on that peep. Where are my peeps at with the dirty booty holes? That doesn't taste any different. It doesn't taste any different. So they're all going to taste like fucking lemon. No thank you. No thank you. Go back in the bag. God damn it. We're going to have to do this the hard way, aren't we? Go back in the bag. I'm through with you. I'm officially, I'm officially done with it. I am officially done with that. No more peeps. Today on Mythbusters, we find out if Fruit Loops really do suck. Myth confirmed. They do. I'm taking a drink. Coming up next, I've got something that's actually also cursed. I tried to find things that were like, that were like, what the fuck, Easter? So here's a little dinosaur buddy, a little rubbery, rubbery dinosaur friend. And stuck inside of him is an egg. His, so his skin is all holy, and there's an egg stuck inside of his body. And let's take a look at what, what the tag says. Dino skins with Smarties inside. Candy-filled egg inside a dinosaur. This dinosaur is giving a thumbs up like he, he doesn't know his body's about to be ripped open. Now, again, for, for you international folks, you might be looking at these Smarties and saying... I thought those were called rockets. Is Nelson Mandela hitting me with his fucking moonbeams again? No. it's They're called rockets in other countries, but they're called Smarties only in the United States, and that's a copyright. It's like a trademark thing. Because Smarties in, like, Canada and the UK are, like, crappy M&Ms. So they can't, call, they can't call these candies Smarties over there because the name was already taken. So there's... There's that, and then this is just telling you exactly what is uh, in the the candy, allegedly. So how do, how does this how does this work? Okay, first we take we take the tag off, and then secondly, um, secondly we take the egg out, and I I guess we just do that by stretching it. So I tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, we're, we're gonna stretch the hole that's right here on his crotch. For all the egg laying fetishists out there that are just that are just dying for that type of content on Gator Box. Look at that. Don't say I don't do y'all no favors. I feel I feel dirty after doing that. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. I feel like I feel like I've I've made a mistake. That I I can't go back. I can't take that back. I feel like I've opened up a Pandora's box that cannot be closed. And then inside are just are two tiny little rolls of Smarties. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen a roll of Smarties this small before. They're usually like twice this big. It's just a tiny little roll of Smarties. If I was hip, I'd show you how to smoke them. But I don't know how to do that because I'm in my 30s. So, yeah, so Smarties in, in other countries are crappy M&M's. These are just crappy little chalk candies. Yep. That's all they are. Just a, just a, just a Halloween disappointment. Oh, fuck, I was talking as I, as I tried to swallow, and now that sugar got in my throat. And it, like, now, now I've got a sore throat. What do they make this stuff with, mace? God damn. Smarties are okay. There's kind of a sour tanginess to them. They're an acquired taste. It's a poverty candy. You basically see these at the gas station and you get a roll for a nickel when I was a kid. And just like how you can get like one piece of double bubble for a nickel or a Jolly Rancher for a nickel or like oh, a miniature Reese's cup for a nickel. They had these but these obviously gave you the highest nickel to candy output. 
So I would always get like some Smarties and like a blow pop or something because that had that had bubble gum inside of it. That was a nice way to finish, you know, if, if I had a quarter. So I'd get some Smarties and like a blow pop. And uh, I guess they are an acquired taste. I know people who just hate these things that will not eat them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> rotor rotor baron <laughs> i'd take crappy m&ms over these two i like how I, <laughs> I like how the prodigy he said i've seen people smoke them that was right before i said that you're like apparently draco has too they're they're fine they're fine candies i mean for me for me they're they're uh they're a nostalgic candy so when 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 i eat them i don't you know, I don't immediately get transported back to feeling like a kid again, but I don't hate them. It's kind of like how I, I enjoy the taste of Spam. A lot of people don't like Spam or potted meat because it's either too salty or they just think it just tastes bad in general because it's not like premium cuts of meat. It's just all the pig, pig lips and buttholes that's just minced together and mixed with gelatin. But me, growing up, you know, my family didn't have a lot of money, so a can of Spam is a lot of meat for what you pay for so i grew up eating like pan fried spam and i didn't know what it was when i was a kid so i just ate it you didn't think about that shit when you were a kid it's like your food gets put down in front of you you just eat it so i ate it and i liked it i thought spam tastes great so it's you know it is what it is i still eat spam to this day i make I'm, i make fried rice with spam in it because i think it tastes good it, like like i don't make chicken fried rice or pork fried rice or shrimp fried rice i make i cube up a bunch of spam i make spam fried rice so that's that's probably that's probably a crime uh but so if it is a crime then uh someone hit up a good defense attorney i better call saul so let's put, put this egg back inside this dinosaur so he can stand up again and we're gonna we're gonna use a different hole on the body by the way uh, if you're if you're tryptophobic don't don't watch this part. The egg won't go back in. Hang on. I can't. I can't put the egg back in. I gotta fit it. He must be complete. Okay, I think I figured it out. It's like a. It's like solving a puzzle. Yeah, there we go. I mean, not quite. This looks horrendous. This is utterly, utterly horrifying. Yeah, that looks mostly correct. There we go. Little dinosaur, little little dinosaur boy. So that's my that's my Easter tat special, my late Easter special. And by the time this goes on YouTube, it doesn't even matter, anyways. I uploaded a, I uploaded a Christmas video in June, so who or, or May? Who fucking cares at this point anymore? So we got a weird Christmas ornament thing out of the Kinder Egg. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's definitely not Easter related. Uh, it's cool, especially when you put a light behind it, but not not Easter related. So there's that. Uh, we busted the myth once and for all. Fruit Loops are garbage. They all taste the same, and that's the way they're supposed to be. They're engineered to taste like diarrhea. And then uh, egg uh, uh, dinosaurs do lay eggs. We we confirmed that. Did a little bit of armchair paleontology, and guess what? I don't see no feathers on this dinosaur. Only egg. No 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 feathers. Just egg. So looks like we busted two myths with one stone. And then we have some Smarties. I'm going to eat another one. So thank you for checking out this episode of Gator Unbox. I appreciate it. You can leave a like or don't. I don't care one way or the other. It's not like the algorithm is going to pick up any of these videos. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video by Gator Box. To see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. You can also support this project financially at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox. You can also follow us at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox to catch us live every Friday night at 9 p.m. Central Time for our main show. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.